Thank you for clicking on the link. This is the Tsunami Volleyball 2018-2019 information session for our North location and our select teams. Our anticipation is that you have already played with us if you're watching this video and this is meant to be just a refresher on what is going to be new for this season for our select program. There is another video available um, that covers all of our programs. So if you're not familiar with what you hear in this video, there is a full information session that tells everything about all our different levels, uh, travel schedule, and everything pertaining to the club. In this information session, we will cover a good bit of the details for the season, including practice facilities, costs, uh, tournament schedule, um, and the opportunity to possibly compete at nationals at the end of the season. As we get started into the meat of our, our meeting, uh, these first few slides are some of our accomplishments um, from this past season and uh, previous years. You'll see uh, class of 2020, we have one athlete who has already signed all the way down to the class of 2007, and you'll see everything from high level division one uh, all the way down Division two, Division three, NAIA, and junior college. So uh, it's a little bit of a it's a little bit of a, a brag, but it's also you want to know what you're what you're investing in uh, for the future. Well, this is one of the things that we do exceptionally well. You'll also see uh, some coaching screens of the resumes of our um, coaches, and you'll find that there there's nobody else um, around that has any type of of coaching resumes as our coaches do. You will also see a highlight slide uh, that talks about some of our wins from last season. We won a good number of tournaments, but we had uh, three teams do exceptionally well at the national level. Um, we had uh, six teams earn bids to USAV Nationals, which means that they finished in the top few teams in the region, uh, or they won uh, first, second, third, typically at a national qualifier. Uh, we also had eight additional teams attend AAU Nationals. Uh, and on that one slide, you'll see that two of our teams finished fifth, and one of our teams finished second playing up an age group. So uh, we had a pretty good season last year. Take a second to uh, watch the slides. I'm gonna go ahead and start covering the information uh, related to the session. One of the biggest questions that we had coming out of the 2017-2018 season was practice facilities for this coming year. Uh, so I'm happy to report that we have picked up an additional court at Oglethorpe University. Um, and so we now have three courts there, which will give us a good bit more uh, practice time at that location. What we will do is we will put all of our teams at Oglethorpe that we possibly can. Um, once we uh, fill up at Oglethorpe, we will move over to uh, formerly Briarcliff United Methodist Church. It's now the Globe Academy. Uh, and then once we've filled there, we will be going back to Atlanta International School. We are well aware that Atlanta International School has uh, some traffic implications built in with it. So we're doing everything that we can to push our start times back a little later there uh, and not be there late in the evening. So trying to work around the, the traffic patterns with that one facility. We're also looking for other facilities. So if you have a, um, an inn somewhere uh, and think that we might be able to get some gem time within our little a uh, little triangle of, of facilities, we would love to hear from you and love to uh, reach out to that facility and see if we can get time in there, Jim. We are super excited about our scheduling for our select program this year. It is going to be different than anything we've done in the past. Um, and the great news is we've gotten several other, uh, other clubs that have decided to join us in this process. So I think you're going to find uh, that you'll like it as well. So what we're trying to do, and we're working on gym space still, but our goal is to have Monday and Friday practices within our select program. At 14 and under, we want to make zero cuts. We will make zero cuts. Um, so if you're daughter doesn't make an elite team or premier team or just simply wants to play at the select level, she definitely has a place within our organization. Um, what we're going to do is Monday night is going to be um, skill training. It'll be positional training. It'll be small groups such as setters and middles or DSs and outsides. It'll be very specific um, group training by position, by skill. Uh, so maybe we all work on passing. Maybe we all work on hitting whatever the skill is that week. But that'll be your Monday nights. Friday nights will be um, team training for roughly the first hour. And then we're going to compete for as much time as we can after that. So every Friday night, your daughter will be competing within our own club. Now, 
In addition to within our own club, we also have several other local clubs that are going to send their select programs to compete with us on Friday nights. Um, we also have a, a new location in, in central Georgia. Those teams will come up on some Friday nights. Um, Cobb Atlanta and North Atlanta have both expressed an interest in coming um, in sending their teams to participate with us. So those may be at our North facility, they may be at our South facility, but you'll get a good bit of a heads up before we go there. But I think that the, the increased amount of competition will be a huge asset to that program. In addition to that, we're going to compete in four SRVA tournaments, one in each month, January, February, March, and April. Uh, two of those will definitely be at our facility uh, in Forest Park, and then we will pick the other two once the full tournament schedule is uh, released for the Southern region. My anticipation is that we'll go to a North Atlanta uh, one-day tournament somewhere in the Sandy Springs area, and then Cobb Atlanta has talked about hosting one as well, and so we'll probably head that direction. Uh, if not, we'll pick up um, one at one of our other, uh, one of the other local clubs will have a, a one day so that you don't have to come to our building four times. Um, but anyway, I think that's, I think that amount of play and that amount of training, one of the one, one of the things that the Monday, Friday scenario gets you is the opportunity to work with some additional coaches. Uh, Dunn has expressed an interest in coming up and working within this program. I will come over some and work within this program. Um, so you'll get, in addition to the coaches of your actual team, you'll get a good bit of feedback from other coaches. Should be an amazing experience um, for an athlete looking to compete at the select level. As we mentioned previously, the select level is a no-cut level, which means that um, at 14 and under, if you want to play, you have a spot with us. Um, what we will do is instead of an actual tryout, we have a skill evaluation session where we can start to group athletes together a little bit better by skill. However, you will not leave the skill evaluation session being placed on a team. We will go and practice for um, several weeks before we start to divvy up. You will be able to tell pretty pretty quickly the athletes that have a little more experience and are a little bit more athletically inclined versus those that are new and trying to figure it out. And so you'll be able to do the same thing that we're going to do in terms of, of moving athletes around. But once we get into the season, we will divide you into teams and you'll, you'll have plenty of a heads up of what that looks like and plenty of competition time together. But we really want to spend some time with those athletes before uh, we make those determinations, uh, particularly for the athletes that are new but super athletic. We want to give them the opportunity to understand the game before we, we start assigning them. Carrying over from our past, our um, playing time on our select program, is, our goal is equal playing time as much as is possible. Volleyball is not a timed game, so that's impossible, but that is our goal by the end of the season that everybody plays the same amount. Um, and a reminder that our select program is 14 and under only. So our uh, 10 and 11s programs, uh, we call them elite, uh, but want to make sure that you guys understand that they fall under our select model in that they're local only. They will not practice on Monday, uh, Friday. They will have a Sunday and then probably a Tuesday or Wednesday night practice time. Um, but they do fall within our select model of teams. But reminder, we will call them our 10-1 elite team and 11-1 elite team. Um, our select program, we will have a uh, a 12s, which will also fall in the Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, Tuesday uh, practice model. It will not go through Monday, Friday. That is simply for our 13s and 14s. Um, we also have a 12 elite team that will uh, play a little higher level of tournaments, but will also follow a local only schedule. So if your daughter is younger and you have a lot of questions about the 12 and under, give us a call because that's a little bit more, uh, a little bit more detailed um, but I think you can get the general gist of it on the slides here. Previously, we posted a, uh, a, um, a slide about commitment day. This is different than it has been in the past. Um, if you are one of our 10s, 11s, or 12s, um, you will come to commitment day. Uh, if you were 13s and 14s, uh, as part of our Monday, Friday select program, it's not necessarily that you come to commitment day. We'll handle all of the paperwork on your first practice, but we will begin practicing um, immediately after, uh, after tryout. So you'll get a little bit more information on that, but we're going to start that program right away. Our 12s and 10s and 11s uh, will follow more of our basic club model as far as commitment day and moving forward from there. Um, with the... Um, 
12 and under grouping, you'll notice it was commitment day. It's one to four on a Saturday afternoon now, not during the week. And we'll have uniform fittings at our facility in Forest Park. So you'll have to drive down to Forest Park, but you'll get to do your uniform fitting all on one day. Uh, for those of you in the 1314 program, we will do your fittings on, um, on a regular practice day. So I think that's a huge plus from what we've done last year because that was one of the other things we got a lot of feedback about was needing to do uniform uh, fittings a little better. So anyway, as much as we would like to say we answered all your questions here, I know there's no way that we did. Um, give us a call, shoot us an email if there's anything that we left out, and I'm, I'm sure there is. Uh, the phone number here is uh, to the office. Heather has that phone. Uh, and then info at tsunamivolleyball.com goes to um, Dunn, myself, and Heather. And this is Jeff. Uh, you can also go to the website. There's a ton of information on our website, including everything you saw here, plus for all the other levels. On the front page of the website, uh, there are two boxes that talk about 14 and under and 15 and up. Uh, on those two boxes, one link will take you to the tryout registration page. The other link will take you to a tryout information page. On that tryout information page is a ton of, uh, of information. So if you have any questions, call us. If not, we will see you at tryouts, and we appreciate you um, playing for Tsunami Volleyball.